Well, hello there, tall drink of water. Happy New Year's, people. Happy New Year's. Say, say right. something to the nation. We got five minutes till 2014, and we're going to fuck shit up. Yeah. Whoa, you got to watch your language now. This is a family Go channel, girls. man. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, have fun. Happy New Year. Coming up, I'm right here in Times Square, and I know he's here somewhere, and I cannot wait for the moment I can say I met... <gasps> <laughs> I think it was the one that you. <laughs> Hi, you guys. So I'm here with Richard and Katie from the Utah Nordic Alliance of Utah, and you guys are teaching me how to cross country ski. So give us some bigs. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Now, I'm going to toss it back to you guys. I just slipped and fell, so we'll have more, but tell people the basics of coming up here and paying $7. Wow. Very it's hard cool. work out it there. It is hard work. Yes. I know. You can, get to, you can fall, but as long as you keep getting back up. Yes. Right? Cross-country skiing is hard work. Yeah. It's really a cool environment, guys. So we're going to send it back to you in the Toasty Warm Studio. File drivers like it. They've been able to come in and really clear the streets really nicely. In fact, they've cleared it so much that people have uh, put on their scarves and their hats and their big coats and we've seen a couple of people walking down the street now that they've been plowed we've seen a couple of people jogging down the street um, and they and they are on the street because the uh, the uh, sidewalks are still pretty thick now we spoke to some people earlier today about um, no one's going the exact speed limit I would say around 40 miles an hour people some people are going even slower than that so it's extremely slippery. I actually just fell on the pavement, and that's the same thing that's happening on the roadways. I did buy some ice cream bars, and I said to Bridget, the videographer I'm working with, we have to eat these really fast because they're not going to stay frozen, and she didn't believe me. She said, no, it's cold. I said, it has to be zero, or ice cream won't stay cold, and lo and behold, it's so warm, it doesn't even stay on the stick. Now the store will remain open throughout the repairs. Police tell us they are still looking for those eight suspects. Reporting live in southwest Atlanta, Angelique Proctor, Fox 5 News. Angelique, thanks. Next at noon. Two St. Thomas students struck by a hit and run driver before the holidays. They still got a long way to go in their recovery, but they're not going it alone. How their friends are all helping in for them tonight. Although we have a snow day here for a lot of kids, they cannot be out in these sub-zero wind chills. Megan, back uh, to you. All right, so if they're canceling the train, does that mean that you and I are having another night in bed together? <laughs> That's a long story. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, I have no words, yeah. except that we're going to be on YouTube in a few minutes. <laughs> the only reason I say that is because during Hurricane Sandy, there were no hotel rooms, and Janice and I shared a hotel room so that there, was, there were enough rooms for all of the people on there. I'm happy to say that you're the only female I've ever shared a bed with. Well, there you go. <laughs> Thank you for sharing and overshowing. Sharing. <laughs> See you, hon. I don't hear anything. And then over here, we're yeah. waiting for those pipes to burst. Yeah, I don't know if they burst. What will it look like, though, real it'll quick? It'll look like something. Like, oh, jeez. That's why you're wearing the safety glasses. When the weather gets cold, you and I put on jackets, and we bump up the heat in our homes to be comfortable, to brace ourselves against the frigid temperatures. But what about UNA's Leo and Yuna? Who... He says what you're doing is you're doing down the departmental spending because you need to find deeper cuts in spending in government departments. So in real terms, that means spending on things like schools and hospitals. I might give up on that. Um, okay, Bernie, we're here. Come on, man. What do you want us to fucking do? All right, here we go. But I would always forget my bag at home. Clark the Bear, hmm. described as a young, friendly cub who can't wait to interact with the kids. Also worth noting, oh he doesn't goodness. wear any pants. Uh, <laughs> I think that is a gag photo. If we can switch to the next one. <laughs> First of all, did you, I, I just want to know, I don't know what to say about a bear who does. Did Yogi Bear wear pants? Yogi, I, I'm not Yogi, sure, because I don't know if him and Boo Boo wore pants. Yogi Bear, I kind of believe, put me wore a mind. collar and tie. He was a classy bear, but still, this one's pretty... Trumpy. It's like a children's character. As the Jets get out there and Josina and everybody on hand, it's going to be some exciting, be some curveballs today. So why don't we pick some of these curveballs? So one o'clock game, Jets at Dolphins. Richard, let me ask you the final play. Take me through it. Well, I'm the best corner in the game. 
game. When you try me with a star receiver like Crabtree, that's the result you're going to get. Don't you ever talk about me. Who was talking about you? Crabtree, don't you open your mouth about the best. Or you're going to set it for you real quick. L.O.B. All right, before... And, Joe, back over to you. Mr. G. Yeah, baby, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hype, I'm hype, baby. You know, I told y'all. I told everybody that. Everybody knew what was going on. They trying to count us out, and I thought it was going to happen. And you see my shirt done? That was stuck. This is before, and this is how they going to be tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, NFC champions, baby. Baby, baby. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ain't nothing but the NFC, baby. No, if it's the best, so baby. Got a whole city throwing going crazy. Because the Eagles are the best. The Eagles number one. The Bulls are the best, baby, baby. You heard me? Eagles all the way. E A G L E S. You know, I debated whether or not I was going to Where show. Where do I go? Ah. Are we here? <laughs> Guys, are we over here? I'm Kevin, sorry. come on. I, I can no, no, use I'm some sorry. help. We're... It's real simple today. It's cold outside. Is you this? can do the forecast. Okay, uh, today, guys, we're dealing with wind chill factors that we've never seen before. In this yeah, area yeah. right here, we're experiencing a lot of cold. Right here in this thing, we got eight. And over here in Atlanta. Oh, oh, I, need, I could learn some moves from you. Got, what, no, what that's, is that? You don't get low. Gotta, that's what you got to do. You, you got to get, get low. low. Okay. Get low like the and temperatures. And right here is where we're going to go. But this could come up. <laughs> and over here where it's brown is where it's dirt at. Where? <laughs> where there's dirt at. I think at this point we should uh, seriously consider uh, not, uh, uh, not continuing Congresswoman Section Harman, 215 let me, let me and interrupt getting the you. Congresswoman, let me interrupt you just for a moment. We've got some breaking news out of Miami. Stand by if you will. Right now in Miami, Justin Bieber has been arrested on a number of charges. The judge is reading the charges, including resisting arrest and driving under the influence. He's appearing now before the judge for his bond hearing. Let's watch. Number two, Monroe. Craig, on behalf of the state. All right. Mr. Perez and Mr. Craig? Craigo. Craigo? Okay. State? Judge, on the case of Mr. Bieber, the state is just asking. <laughs> End of the year and to start the new year for you. All right, thank you so much, Mallory, and thank you for making us your choice <laughs> for News at 11. If you missed any phone numbers or web links, you know where to go. <laughs> and don't forget to friend us on Facebook. <laughs> and follow us night. on Twitter. Have a good night. <laughs> Justin Verlander, he is recovering from a surprise off-season surgery that he underwent yesterday. Yeah, a lot of cotton.